Hi, I'm Luke and I'm studying History, Politics and PE and we're all here as Politics Prefects to talk about why you should take politics as an A-level Newstead. More specifically, we're going to talk about why we enjoy politics, the content and talk you through a normal lesson and some general tips. I'm going to be talking about why we enjoy politics. The content is very interesting. We study British and American politics and then political ideologies. American politics is particularly interesting at the moment due to the upcoming election and it is and it is interesting to compare British political systems with American. In both America and British politics we look at constitutions, political parties, branches of government and many other areas. Another point of interest about politics is the wide reading it allows us to do, which forms a large part of our studies at Newstead. It really helps to further our understanding of the content, especially staying up to date with current affairs. The teaching at A-level is really good. We have two teachers, Mr Borner and Miss Young, and they are really good at providing us with politics-based issues that we might have, be that having difficulties with grasping a concept or helping with essay structure. They're always willing to put in the time and support you. In regard to trips, COVID allowing, we go to the Houses of Parliament and Supreme Court and Washington and New York. There are also opportunities to attend a range of lectures throughout the two years. Politics is a really transferable subject, having transferable skills. It really doesn't limit what you can apply for. There are people in our class applying from, for a range of subjects, from property management to economics to PPE. Hi, my name is Rachel and I study politics, history and maths at Newstead and I'm going to be talking to you about the structure of the politics course here. So the course is made up of three main topics, British politics, American politics and political ideologies. We sit three papers at the end of the two years so in year 13, with each accounting for 33% of our A-level grade and we have no coursework. In British politics, we look specifically at democracy and participation and the applications of this within the UK, the different political parties in the UK, so the Conservative Party, Labour, UKIP, the SNP, um, the different electoral systems. So we look at the main first past the post system that we have in our general elections, but also at electoral systems that you can see in Scotland and Ireland in council elections and voting behaviour at election time. So whether like gender and age, if they have any impact on election results. And then we also look at the UK constitution and the different branches and how they interact with one another. So we look at parliament, the prime minister and the executive branch and how the prime minister interacts with the cabinet and the Supreme Court. Then in American politics, we look at the US Constitution and the applications of that. Democracy, so the political parties, the electoral system, um, and also the American branches of the government and how they interact. So Congress, the President and the Supreme Court. In the American part of the course, we also have to compare US systems to their equivalents in the UK, which I personally find very interesting to see the differences and similarities between the two systems of government. Um, and there are actually a lot more similarities than you would initially think. Um, finally, we look at political ideologies. So we look at the history and applications of liberalism, socialism, conservatism and feminism. It, we're currently doing this at the moment in year 13 and it is really interesting to see how historical events such as the Enlightenment have influenced political thought over the last few centuries. So we do cover a lot of content over the two years, but it is really enjoyable to learn. And although it may seem daunting, both of my teachers are really, really supportive. And if I had a problem or anything, I could just go to them and they'd help me work through it. And the teachers at Newstead are always there to offer a helping hand. My name is Alice. I'm a deputy politics prefect and I study RS politics and history. In year 12, we have four lessons a week, two with each teacher. In year 13, this increases to five lessons a week, with the fifth le lesson being used to cover content and revise. Lessons are more than just reading from the textbook. We start most lessons with a 10 question quiz, which is a great way of recapping content and making it stick. We also have debates on things we cover in lessons, which give us a chance to try and back up our viewpoints. We're actively encouraged to do wider reading outside of lessons through podcasts, lectures and books, of, of which there are many in the library. There are also a range of interesting documentaries that allow us to delve deeper into certain topics. We do lots of essay practice in classes, usually being set two essays per half term, one per teacher. 
We also do paragraphs of essays in class, allowing us to constantly be improving our essay technique and learn from our mistakes as we are given very detailed feedback on each assessment. The politics course is very interesting and the lessons very interactive, so good luck and we hope you choose to study politics at Newstead.